enjoy your food. I'm slightly scared. Yeah, it does look kind of spooky. <laughs> what was that? Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> Hi, I'm Moose. Welcome to my channel. So I'm just filming this little intro and outro because I recently went sort of early October actually I we were on holiday in Norfolk and on our way back we decided to go to a thing called the Under the Pier show in Southwold and it's kind of like an automated like a it's an arcade basically but the arcade machines are all made by a single artist as far as I know, I think most of the machines in the arcade are by a man called Tim Hunkin. I think there's a couple in there that he's collaborated on, there's a few in there that are not by him, but I'm not entirely sure which ones are which. But that's all I basically wanted to say about that, I give more context. It's a, it's a handmade peer um, arcade machine place with very quirky machines, um, they're all very... Um, they all have this very dry British humour and you can really tell like that's its vibe. But yeah, so on to the video. Hi everyone, it's Moose. I'm in Norfolk right now on holiday. This is actually our last day here. Um, we're going home today, but on the way back we're going to a seaside town called Southwold and they have apparently this really cool arcade place that has like very unique arcade machines and I thought I'd show you because I thought it might maybe an interesting video so yeah I'll see you then <laughs> Josh is waking up and he's a zombie look at my spidey eye I've been really enjoying doing spider webs because it feels like subtle and spooky Southwold now. Yeah. You can hear the sea Do you probably. Want to see it? You probably hear the ocean. The ocean waves. Oh, we're really close to the, the sea. ocean waves. Look at that. That's beautiful, that is. Sweet mother of God. We got lost slightly on the way here. We got lost <laughs> on the way here. But we, we, we got here. We're fine now. Now we can hear the ocean waves. Very spooky.
do that. What does it do? Like, get like, ya. Oh, some of these are really cool. Yeah, they're really cool. Are you going to do it? Yeah, sure. So, what am I doing? Just like... Put it in and put your hand in there. And see how spooked I get. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I've got a... Oh. Am I doing this right? Oh, it's a 40p. Yeah, you've got two times in there. Okay. So press and hold it. Oh, that's gross. Do you feel like air on you? Oh, it's water. No, it's like water. Water dripping. That's actually gross. Oh. 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 Did you let go of it? No, I didn't. Weird. <laughs> no fear. <laughs> Weird wacky here. Oh, is that Johnny Depp? Should I? Oh, oh God. Psychofluorescent radio mirror. Our actively tuned wireless optics reflect Whoa. the wisdom of ancient centuries to bring you a personality profile of unrivaled precision. <laughs> Hi, Hello. I'm Milton Savoy. Creator of the Booth of Truth and discoverer of psychofluorescence. Put your hand in the slot now. As you gaze into the radio mirror, open your mind and feel its tranquil balls resonate with your entire body. Please hold while we put you through to a radio mirror interpreter. Put my hand in the slot. Someone's going to touch me, probably. As there are no qualified interpreters available, your call will be taken by a trainee. Oh God, I'm really scared. Hello, I'm Michael, your radio <laughs> mirror interpreter for the day. Make sure your hand is inside the slot it is. as your reading is about to begin. You're extremely practical have a, a shy and uh, a, a modest nature. You're a great perfectionist, but can be overcritical and prone to worry. You are emotional and protective, Help. with great imagination, but you can be moody and clinging. Enjoy the booth of truth oh my God, for scary. a limited period only. <laughs> I'd also like to. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> that was actually scary. Do you want to thank all taxpayers for so generously funding our pensions? Do I do Crankenstein? Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> do you have change? Turn handle, yeah, turn handle to generate life. 
Revive the beast. Revive the beast. Alright. I'm gonna be awful at this. So this is like a endurance move around as the introduction. Go, go, go. Whoa. You. It is. Nice. It's awesome. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's not It's an actual NHS thing as that well. That is amazing. There you go. Is that it? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> what does that say? Nothing, it's scrambling. It's a scribble. It's a scribble. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Dad's gonna try. And I get the impression you can't win at any of the games on this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! At last, oh, a truly yeah. rewarding banking experience. Hello, oh, come on in and sit down. When you're ready for us <gasps> to start, the press the green button. button. Oh, that's a tiny squeeze in here. When you start, oh. press the green button. I'm Kevin. Hey Kevin. I'm Nigel. We're going to tell you all about the humans, those large flightless mammals. Now we all know they're a great source of fish and chips. But seriously, we're now starting to discover much more of their strange life cycle. We've gone high tech. Here's Trevor packing one of their nature cams. <laughs> And this is a bit of footage she's very proud of. Just watch him snatch the phone. Now these humans record absolutely everything they do on their nature cams in extraordinary detail. So this is a great resource. Now humans enjoy playing with balls. We think making balls fly is probably another coping strategy for their own lack of flight. And they... Now, 
Humans uh. have distinctive mighty habits. These same twins hold loud music and flashing lights. They emerge from these strange places. Light at night oh, moves their head up. Cheers. They then rush home to the nest as fast as they can. They then just get stuck in traffic jams. And because they're unable to fly, they just stuck. Bonkers. The trucks collect the bags and unbelievably, they deliver it to our own feeding ground so we never need to go looking for it. They even spread out each load. So it's nice for us to feed. Amazing! Now to end, we're delighted to have two specimens at very close quarters for you to examine. Oh my god! Now don't stare, it's very important to be nice to them. protecting their species that we can ensure the magnificent rubbish will still be here for our future generations to admire and to enjoy. Oh, it's so loud. Wow. That's hilarious. <laughs> Oh my god. Are you filming? Yeah, I'm filming. Yeah. Oh no. It's just like real life. That's why you're going on a day. Welcome aboard Flight Air B44 to Costa Valente. In an unlikely event of the mid air collision, you will find an emergency exit on the right and another over on the left. If you should have to pull down, you will see the light and light jacket underneath your seat. Tie it on the left with a double bow. Enjoy your flight. I'm slightly scared. Yeah, it does look kind of spooky. <laughs> what was that? Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> and I'm so scared. I'm so scared. You're flying so. <laughs> Using micro break, you will now be transferring to a coach to take you to your final destination. <laughs> this is like getting past the tractor. Oh, 
Oh my god. What is that? Okay. <laughs> it's like a laser. <laughs> You're gonna get shot. Gonna get shot. <laughs> oh. You made nice. it. I hope there's not anything horrible that's about to happen to me. Or anything really, you know, like a tsunami or something. Nope. You're just there. Isn't that nice? I needed that. I needed that holiday. On oh, my holiday. Josh is going to be brave enough to try this. The quick fit. So was it no embarrassing? No, it's like self discipline. It's probably just going to... going to vibrate you. That's what it's going to do. <laughs> Why is this really funny? There's a start button next to you somewhere. <laughs> start button there. Really Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's having an exercise. <laughs> 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 Is anything happening to you? No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Such yeah, good yeah, exercise. <laughs> Blowing air at you. Thank you. Please call again. I'm so scared to do something else. There you go. This just jump scared me again. Ow. <laughs> Yeah. 
Use then. Hark. Hark. Oh, am I imagining that? Look, they have like a little retro room here. But unfortunately, it's closed right now. It's pretty cool though. Water to operate a clock. Alright, it probably makes more sense to go by the clock. That's cool. Uh, well, no coastal popping. video thank you so much for watching everybody i'm sorry about this weird impromptu intro and outro it was our holiday and like i couldn't focus on filming a proper intro and outro but yeah um that little weird arcade we went to at the end as well wasn't part of the under the pier show it was just an extra bit of southwold arcade um i always think arcades are kind of like weird liminal spaces and i think they're really interesting and they're quite fun too so yeah that's that. But yeah, I'll have all the relevant links below about the Under the Pier show if you want to learn more about it. There's a really interesting website and um, there's actually another place in London which is vaguely similar. So I might go visit that one day. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.